Well, welcome back to Living Local. Hockey is one of America's most popular sports, and the Quad City Hockey Association is leading the way for local kids to get involved in one of America's favorite pastimes. And joining me in studio today to talk about the QCHA's programs are Ryan Mosley, QCHA president. We've got Rich Oswald, One Goal Director, and Angela Plugman with Girls Hockey. Thank you guys for being here today. Thanks for having us. I really appreciate it. So, Ryan, what can you tell us about how the Quad City Hockey Association got its start? Well, it was 1995 and uh, Jerry Voliger and Les Duplicky, uh with a group of visionaries uh, kind of came together and wanted to build uh, a hockey association for development of youth hockey players uh, and, you know, getting them involved in team sports and uh, agility and stuff like that for kids just to have fun. Absolutely. How has the program kind of changed and grown over the years? The program's changing. Um, the game is changing, so a little more fundamental. Um, ideas and finesse is coming in versus hmm. the physicalities of how the game used to play played. Mm -hmm. So it's the kids are the most important thing is the kids are still here to have fun. Absolutely, that's for sure. Well, beside the obvious physical benefits, what are the benefits does hockey provide for kids? Hockey provides the biggest benefit is fun. Hmm. So coming to the rink on a morning and seven eight o'clock in the morning, and you see kids coming in smiling, can't wait to get on the ice. That's the best part. Secondly. Uh, friendships, family. Hmm. Um, hockey players are a close-knit group. They enjoy uh, being part of a team. They enjoy the culture of the hockey and um, lifelong friendships. Yeah. Lastly, the game is fast. So as a sport, the kids that are looking for something that's uh, entertaining, f moving, the game is always moving. Hockey is always moving. Um, that's one of the biggest selling points with hockey as far as if you want your kids to enjoy a game, come down to a hockey game because it's fast. Yeah. And also works on your fine motor skills, your agility, concentration, um, and it's always a challenge. Yeah, keep the mind and the body moving for sure. And Rich, you're the program director of One Goal. Uh, what can you tell us about that program? So One Goal is a USA hockey program, and basically what it is is an entry level program into hockey. So it's for, you know, uh, it gets, it's sort of, I like to call it the boot camp of hockey. So from learning how to stand on your skates, how to hold a stick right, properly glide, start and stop. So it's, it's that first entry level, and I like to call it a boot camp because they do a great job getting those kids, those fine skills starting off. Yeah, sounds like something I need. I can't, <laughs> I can't do any of that. Uh, who is the One Girl program for, and are there any requirements to be a part of that? Sure, so the, the One Girl program is open to any child. We have kids as young as four up to 15 year olds that come and do their first experience with hockey through one goal. So it's for any, any child that has an interest in, in hockey. Uh, the kids that have been playing deck hockey for a few years and like, hey, I want to go try that ice. I want to see what that's about. Uh, the one goal program is, is for them because we get them in there. Uh, we, we help them get the gear. We supply gear through a rental program. So really the cost to a parent is, is pretty low because if your son or daughter doesn't decide they want to keep playing, you give us a gear back and, and you're not out anything there. So yeah. Awesome. Sounds like I've aged out of the program already. We can make an Don't exception on. for oh, you. Okay, <laughs> thanks. Out. Appreciate it. Uh, how many kids uh, get involved in the One Goal program? So we have three sessions throughout our season. So we'll have an August session, a November session, a January session. And normally there's anywhere from 20 to 30 kids in those sessions. So we actually have one starting up this Monday, so it's not too late if you're interested to get go out to our website, get signed up, and come on out and get started in your hockey career. Yeah, absolutely. And got a nice little community of people starting with you. So you don't yeah, absolutely. Wrong. We got great volunteer coaches. You know, there's usually 15 to 20 coaches on the ice that help the kids. And, and uh, like Ryan said, just it's an ice sheet full of smiles and kids <laughs> enjoying a great game. Yeah, sounds like it. And uh, the QCHA is getting young girls involved in hockey as well. So Angela, what are the programs being offered this upcoming season for them? So in addition to all of the regular QCHA programming that girls are always welcome mm -hmm. to attend and participate in, we've got three girls only events coming up this season. One is on October 5th and it's our Try Hockey for Free event. And that allows girls from the ages of four to nine without any hockey experience at all or equipment to come out and for an hour or two try, try the sport, see what they think about it. So um, we do give them equipment if they need it. A bike helmet is fine, um, but they get a chance to see if they might fall in love with the sport. Hmm. Our second um, girls only um, program for this year are monthly girl skates. So these are intended for girls ages um, four to 17 who have some hockey experience and are interested in getting together with other girls who also play the sport and just having a fun time connecting with other girls with similar interests 
and picking up a few new hockey skills at the same time. Yeah. And then our third program this upcoming season will be a 12U, 12 and under girls hockey travel team. They will play out of the Nor Northern Illinois um, Hockey League, um, Chicago-based league. It's for ages 9 to 12, and those are for our experienced hockey players who are looking for a competitive season, um, ages 9 to 12 for that team. And tryouts for that team are going to be held August 24th. All right, coming up soon. Yes, very yeah, soon. Very exciting programs. And I understand that girls ice hockey is one of the fastest growing demographics uh, in the sport of ice hockey. Why do you think more girls are getting interested in hockey? So I think there's lots of reasons girls are getting interested in ice hockey. I think some of them are interested because they've seen their older brothers play ice hockey and they think, oh, I can do that, right? Let me, <laughs> let me get a stick and some skates and um, get involved. Other girls see Kendall Coyne and the U.S. Olympic team win a gold medal at the last Winter mm. Olympics, and they think, hey, look, I want to do that, <laughs> right? That looks really kind of cool. Yeah. And then I think locally we're at the point where we've got um, girls and the parents of girls talking about ice hockey to other parents and so word of mouth is spreading the love and the passion that um, some of our young players have for the sport and their neighbors and their schoolmates are coming to the rink to, to give it a try. Yeah. So. Guts in the glory. For, for sure. sure yeah. There you go. Well Ryan are there any other programs that the QCHA provides? Yeah. The QCHA, we provide programming starting at uh, four years old with the One Goal program all the way through uh, high school. We also have limited travel teams. We uh, including have a high school team called the Quad City Blues, um, and those teams are full travel. Uh, we also have uh, uh, sled hockey, which uh, in this area we're very fortunate to have two members of the United States uh, Paralegic Olympic team that actually uh, play out of this building. And um, mm -hmm. so with the sled hockey for par uh, paralegics and stuff like that, it's an absolute awesome experience for them. Um, we have also programming that uh, if you're looking for coaching opportunities for adults, uh, give back to the kids, come down and coach. Um, we're always looking for officials um, and these information things can be found within the website as well as to, we can always love to have more volunteers. Perfect. And Rich, what would you say is the most rewarding part of teaching kids to play ice yeah, hockey? Yeah, I think the, the, the greatest thing I see is that being the one goal director, we get kids that step on the ice, can't even stand up, and then in a mere five sessions, five weeks, they're flying around the ice or, you know, developing those skills. And I think the most rewarding thing is watching every kid score their first goal on a real goalie because <laughs> I don't think you can take that smile away for a couple weeks. So Yeah. Building yeah. the confidence, oh, for yeah, sure. Absolutely. That's awesome. Well, guys, thank you so much for being here today. We really appreciate your time. And uh, if you want for more information, you can visit quadcityhockey.com. We're also going to take all these details and we'll post them on our website, ourquadcities.com. We're back with more Living Local right after this.